Did you get it? Hi there, Susan. Hello, how are you? Well, just fine. We've just been swimming in the sea, so we ought to be fine. Well, <laughs> swimming in the sea sounds great. It was a good day for that. Well, the water is surprisingly warm, I think. I'm sure it is. I, it's been about four weeks since I, I was at the ocean, and it was really warm then. In the yep. Yeah. So that's great. Thanks for coming by tonight. I don't know yeah. how much of a crowd we'll have, but... <laughs> you, you see what's on my wall. Oh, nice. Sweet. Very, very nice painting. I like it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't suppose you're alone over there, are you? Uh, no. Hi, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Mary Murray. <laughs> well, that's good. We at least have a couple people. So, so it actually turned on at 5.30, but I posted that it would be up at 5.40. So I'm hoping some other people will join in. And if not, well, we'll have a private session. How's that? All right. <laughs> we had a nice opening on Friday. Um, well, I, yeah, I, I, I hoped it went well. It did, did it? It did. And we had several sales. And, you know, we did have a huge crowd. But it was really easy for everybody to feel like they were safe. And we kept our masks on and we used straws to help drink our beverages and we slid them under the mask and it just got funny and silly. And we would dribble a little bit trying to get the straw out, but then we had <laughs> masks, it was an automatic um, <laughs> napkin and it worked out just fine. Oh, good, oh, good, good. So we had a nice time and people who came just, you know, it wasn't an art walk for Portland. So people who came just, hung out and stayed over here and that was really great. Fair enough, yeah. So where'd you go swimming today? Uh, Mary Murray's cousin uh, is part of the Sprague family and they have a big property in Cape Elizabeth that ah. has a beautiful sandy beach. And uh, that's where we went. So private beach. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Got it. And, and dog friendly, so our lab could come with us. Yeah. Well, there we go. What's, nice. your lab's, what's your lab's name? My last name? No, the lab's name. Your dog's uh, name. Her name is Lily. Lily. Yeah. Lily. Dog. Yep. Yep. She turned 12 in May. Oh, wow. So, yeah. So she's about the same age as MM and me. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> now, I think the thing that's happening here, Susan, is I've got you on my telephone because my proper computer isn't wanting to uh, wanting to work right. So uh -huh. I'm I'm going to give this to MM to hold and see if I can get the damn big one to go so I can see the pictures better. The pictures better. Well, I am <laughs> recording this, so if you want the recording afterwards. You can definitely um, just ask me and I'll, I'll get it to you. Well, that's nice to hear, but let's see if we can, if we can get it to work, which would be really nice. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So how are you? How am I? Yes. I'm doing fine. I am. Uh, I'm well, Good. you know, everybody that I know is staying well. So that's really encouraging. That's the, that's the bottom line, exactly. Yes. And you know, it's not just, you don't want to contact it yourself. You don't want to get it and not know it and give it to somebody else. You exactly. Know, that's scary, exactly. That's scary thing. Yeah. So. I remember, I, not so, maybe in the last week or so, because I have a hard time remembering to get, to put my mask on. Uh -huh. And what, the, what somebody said is, think of the mask as keeping you from giving somebody else the virus, even if you don't know you have it, but that's the reason for it is right. to keep me from infecting you. Right, which, that is exactly which, what it is. Which really makes sense. So I've be been better about remembering. Uh, <laughs> it's not about <laughs> keeping yourself safe at this point, it's about not yeah, sharing exactly. it. Exactly. Right. So what have you done? How, how do you have people come into your gallery? Do you have people come in and? Well, yeah, people are coming in. There's very little foot traffic. It's a little scary on how I can um, 
continue yeah. having a business when there's so little yeah. foot traffic. Yeah, it's got to be hard. Oh. Yeah, and uh, my classes continue to run. So I have, at the moment, I have students that come in the gallery and are taught here. And mm -hmm. hello, welcome. Good. Hi, Good. hi, it's Barb McDonald. How are you? Hi, I'm doing great. I haven't seen you in a long, long time. Oh, Thanks for tuning oh. in. I've been following and I couldn't wait to see tonight. This is great. Excellent, excellent. You look fantastic, Barbara. Thanks. <laughs> you too. All sunshine. All sunshine. That's what happens when we got to have a break for a while. You know, we actually got out in the sun. Oh, yeah. But I was just talking about the um, art classes. And right now we're having classes where some students are choosing to come into the studio and be right here so that I can teach them more directly and other students are, are coming in remotely. So we are doing this type of thing. And I've got, I've got students on the monitor and students in the class. And you know, you figure out how to do it. You just do. That's right. Everything's new again. There's not one business or art or personal that has not changed forever. With this. I know, it's really, you know. True. So, so last, I, hope what's all your I hope all your families are healthy. I know this has been, widespread since um, March and April, but hopefully everyone's safe and healthy. Um, and in my department, it has been, luckily, it haven't been, we haven't been touched by this. And so, um, well, we haven't been touched. We've all been touched by this, but I mean, right. I know what you mean. It's not, you know, family and friends, as far as I know, people have stayed safe. And yeah, I'm thankful for that. Good. Here's Neil. Hello, Neil. Oh, he's muted. Your mic is muted. At one point, at some point, I'm going to tell everybody to mute their mics so that, but you can <laughs> unmute it now and say hello. <laughs> you don't want me to talk though, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Stephanie. <laughs> Hi, Susan. So this is Stephanie Berry. She is one of the artists that we represent here at the gallery and her husband, Neil. And you're all set up outdoors. Well, that's terrific. Yeah. And we have our wine. Well, there oh, we go. Lovely. I did. I did. I did grab a glass of wine too. Cheers. Good. <laughs> yeah, cheers. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we had the we had the actual opening on Friday, and that worked out pretty nice. Hi, Joelle. <laughs> uh, that worked out pretty nice. We didn't have a lot of people come in, but we had several sales, and so that was very very Great. encouraging. And uh, we do have some art from Ken's art is in the window. Some of it is in the window. So if you want to swing by, but you don't want to come in, you can, you can get to see some of his art <laughs> through the windows. And tomorrow, big deal, tomorrow, they're finally going to fix my windows that have been smashed during the protesting. And uh, I've been, that was right at the beginning of June. I think it was June 2nd that they smashed my windows. And here we are now, August 11th, and it's going to get fixed tomorrow. So I'm really ready to have the nice light come back into the gallery. It made a big difference. I think I read, Susan, that it was one pane of glass and there was another protecting. That's right. It was double but, pane of glass and only the outside glass shattered, thankfully. So the gallery was never breached it and you know nothing was taken or or sure. ruined or yeah. anything. But I, I realized I thought when I was reading about it that you weren't told that by the authorities as no. you were driving in. You you had no idea if it was a big hole all the way through and I, I oh, felt I, bad. Could have, yeah. They could have they could I, have added that. I was piece. petrified driving in that morning. I tell you, I jumped into yesterday's clothes, you know, and it was five o'clock in the morning and I'd been told that it got smashed at 11.30 at night, and all I could think of is my gallery's been open all night, and, right. and I, was, I was freaking out, and I'm flying. I, I live 45 minutes away, and I was flying into work, and I thought, oh, my gosh, I'm going to get stopped by the cops. <laughs> I tell them my gallery's been smashed. I'm just trying to get there, but no one stopped me, thankfully, and I got here, and I just it was a huge sigh of relief when yeah. I just saw that, you know, that, that there was a second pane and it never got shattered and uh, oh, yeah. that, that was That's a blessing. that was really great so we have a really small crew our uh, it's at 5 45 i think we'll just get started um and 
hopefully, you know, this is all new to me. This is only the second virtual opening I'm doing. I had a co-pilot last time. I don't have a co-pilot today. So I'm gonna try to do my best and hopefully, <coughs> excuse me, and hopefully um, I won't mess this all up. All right. I think you, you as the leader have a button to mute us all, but <coughs> I'll just put on mute. I don't know where my mute all button is. So if you guys can just all mute yourselves, that would be really helpful. Um, I have just, oh, I think I put this on right. Hang on, probably I didn't hit share. Okay, okay, I want this. I want you to tell me, oh, before you're all muted off, are you seeing uh, the image of a painting right now? Yes, okay, excellent. Let's see if we can get yeah. going. It's a nice, and it's a nice painting. It's beautiful. Yeah, this is a Stonington. Um, I think I have a photograph that's almost exactly like this. I had loved this scene and, uh, it's, I, it's the second painting that I know of that Ken did. And the other one was from a higher up, but uh, was the same area. And he had done a very large painting of it. And this one here is much smaller. It's called Stonington Morning. And it is um, eight by 16 for $1,200. Lovely piece. Okay, let me see if all this is gonna work right. Oh, we got a delay here. Maybe I should, I'm gonna hide my video. Maybe that will help um, things move faster here. All right. All right, I'm still here. So if you wanna to talk to me, if you have questions, just put your microphone back on, okay? So this second painting here is the old boathouse. It's from East Booth Bay. It's also eight by 16 inches and it is $1,200. It's got beautiful light coming in on it. So Ken DeWard, I don't know if you're familiar with his work. He paints, he paints plein air and uh, he, he doesn't mind finishing things up in the studio if he needs to. And he, he usually is uh, very well known for his uh, nice bright light that is sitting on the buildings or boats because he's out there with the sunshine on it and it's just a wonderful, wonderful view. Oops, hang on here. I need to keep this track. There we go. This And this is Afternoon Stroll. This painting here is from Camden. It is 8 by 16 as well for $1,200. I just really like his figure in here. She, he, she has a, a sense of movement already going on. I think he did a fabulous job with this. Here we have Morning, morning Stroll on the Island, Final Haven. It is 12 by 16. Again, we've got the very sunlit houses um, up against some very uh, shaded houses. And he really, he really finds a way to discern that and really give you contrast between what is in sun and what's in shadow. And it makes his work very strong. He's very good at that. Um, and this is for $1,600. This Seen here is um, called Owl's Head Chaos. It's from Owl's Head. It is 12 by 16 inches and also for $1,600. I love the way he simplifies, you know, the stacks, of, the stacks of lobster traps that you have in the foreground. And he's just simplified it, you get that sense of color. It always gives you a nice splash of color when you're seeing that. And the intense light out there in the, in the bay with, with uh, the boat. What? What size is that? This one is 12 by 16. And it is $1,600. This is called 4th of July. This is in Camden. A lot of you will recognize uh, these buildings here. It's a pretty popular spot. Also 12 by 16. And it's $1,600. This is an interesting painting when you see it up close. Because you see a whole crowd of people and it almost looks like a field trip to me where you have uh, the, the, the teacher that's in charge with all the kids. And when you look at this up close, the teacher is pretty well defined, but all the kids are just uh, marks of color. And it's amazing that it looks, it just looks like a crowd of people that are all moving. And I think it's just very, very well done. This is called Stormy Waters and it is from Gloucester, Massachusetts, also 12 by 16 for $1,600.
This one here, look at the light in this painting, huh? This and the colors are just stunning. This is called Pristine Day in the Harbor. This is from Rockport. It is 12 by 16 for $1,600. This lovely, lovely colors there. You just feel like you're right there at the water, don't you? This is Moonlit Night in the Boatyard. This is in Gloucester and it is 12 by 16. I don't know if any of you paint, it's very different trying to portray um, evening or night uh, compared to painting something during the day. Uh, I don't know if I told you the price. This is $1,600 as well. Um, yeah, it's quite a challenge. It's a very different thing. So if you're bouncing around from painting daytime and painting nighttime, you really have to adjust all the colors you're creating and, uh, and everything, how your values work together. It's a very different, um, it's a very different process. This was called Sunny Day and Friendship. It's from Friendship, Maine, 12 by 16. And this sold on Friday night. Uh, so thank you to, oh gosh, I'm trying to remember. I think it was Leslie that bought this painting. Uh, thank you to Leslie for uh, purchasing, purchasing this lovely piece. So Ken was telling us about this site and friendship. He happened upon it and he really liked the lead between the, the two red buildings and the white building and peekabooing out at the water and another little boat shack or something that is out there. And he did this smaller 12 by 16 and he decided to return again to the site at another time to uh, tackle a, a larger piece because he really liked the, the whole composition. And he said when he returned, all of that had been flattened. <laughs> all those buildings weren't there anymore. So it was kind of a funny, a funny little story about that. This painting here is called Late Spring in the Harbor. It's also from Friendship and it is 12 by 16 for sixteen hundred dollars this is the old port and you probably all recognize this scene i think it's a very popular spot um that also sold on friday night at the opening this is 12 by 24 and it's at twenty two hundred dollars this is a fall day in the country it's from hope maine Hope, if for those of you who don't know, uh, is, the, is the town where Ken DeWard actually lives and is outside of Camden. This painting is 12 by 24, also has nice bright sunshine on this building, and also for $2,200. And a nice, nice use of light on those trees. You really feel a sense of how tall they are and lush, and it's just a beautiful, it's a beautiful um, painting that has a lot of different shades of yellows and greens, it's a really lovely piece. This is called Old School. It is a painting he did in Maui. And uh, I'm, I, I keep wondering, is Old School kind of pertaining more to the buildings or to this old fashioned bike? Maybe it's the bike. It's a 16 by 20, it's a very interesting composition. And it is for $2,400. This one is called Vinyl Haven Morning. Uh, this photograph is not really doing it justice. It's a little bit darker and this building that's at the end of the pier just leaps out. So I'm just noticing it now. It has, it's a lot richer in person than it is right here. Um, it was Vinyl Haven Morning, the pier, and it's 16 by 20 for $2,400. This here is just a spectacular piece. This is called Peaceful Evening, 16 by 20. That too is perhaps just a little bit darker than it appears now. And when you're seeing it a little bit darker, what's happening is it makes the parts that are in light just hop even more. It's a gorgeous piece. I have it, it's framed in gold and I have it on the easel just as you come through the door. It's really, really a beautiful piece, uh, $2,400. This is Sunny Morning. It is a porch. Uh, he told me where Sunny Morning was from and it's not marked here, so I'm not sure. And it is 20 by 16 and also for $2,400. That piece is in my window right now. So if you don't want to come in and you'd like to see it, um, just walk by on the street and you'll get to a nice view of it. This is called Bountiful Harvest. 
It's 24 by 18. I'm not sure the quality of light is really captured well in, a fo in this photograph. It's a really stunning painting. If uh, some of you have, I know the decor right now is to have gray walls. And if, if you're into that color scheme, you really don't have a lot of super bright color here and you, it just can fit very, very well in that type of a setting. 24 by 18 is $3,000. And the warm light that's coming in on it is, uh, it's really not captured accurately here. It's very difficult to photograph paintings and have them look exactly like they do. And I struggled with that for years. And I think some of the problem is that when, when you paint something, you paint emotion into the painting. And when a photograph is taken, the emotion isn't really captured. You really catch that just really with the actual painting, which makes it, I guess, um, good for artists because even prints of artwork is never as good as the actual painting itself. And uh, so, but this is a stunning piece. If you can get yourself in the gallery, uh, come, and, come and check this out. It's a very unusual piece for him. And I think it's super, super lovely. This here is called A New York City Night. It is currently on hold. Um, it is 12 by 16 for 1600. It is, uh, he was telling us about this scene and actually I should have slipped in the picture of it. He uh, sent us the photograph that he worked from on this. We were wondering if he had painted it plein air and, and you know how difficult that would have been. And, uh, but he did not, he had, he worked from a photograph, but he simplified the photograph and it was really interesting what he decided to omit and the ambiance that he created in there um, is far superior to what the photograph captured. So that was really an interesting uh, story to hear about this and then to actually be sent the picture he worked from. This here is called Evening in Venice. It, I think it's deeper in color too in person because I know it shows um, the light just is spectacular in this painting. If that's something that you're attracted to, you really should come see this in person. It's 24 by 20 at $3,000. All right. And so that is the, that is the Ken Dewarts that we have on hand right now. And now I'm going to show you some other paintings that um, a lot of these are new arrivals that have just uh, come in. And uh, this here, we are looking at a Sarah Kidner. It's called Early Evening. It is 18 by 18 for 1850. We have we actually have several uh, Sarah Kidners that just arrived. And Nicholas, I know that you have a lovely Sarah Kidner in your office. <laughs> And uh, she actually has two uh, large ones, 30, eh, 24 by 36, two of them that she is shipping at the end of the week over here. So I probably could send you some of those images if you're interested. This is called In the Neighborhood. It is also by Sarah Kidner. It is 16 by 12 for $1,200. I love the way she does her open markets and she really simplifies everything too. It's just, uh, those of us that paint meticulously like myself are really envious of people that can, can capture everything and just keep it so nice and loose. Also by um, Sarah Kidner, this is Morning Read. It is 12 by 16 for $1,200. The colors on the ground in this painting are, are different than what you're seeing here, but they are just spectacular. She's got I, I want to say some of the colors in there are kind of a peachy, it's just a beautiful, beautiful um, combination of colors in this painting. This is called Dockside Dinghies. This is by Kirk McBride. This is a nice large piece. It's 36 by 36 and for uh, 5,900. It, it, the colors, as again, the colors are just they're, they're beautiful here, but they're really spectacular in person. If it's something you're interested in, come and take a look at it. It's just, it's really a stunning piece. We have a second one from Kirk McBride. It's called Fish Shacks. Uh, for those of you that have been on Monhegan, uh, this is definitely Monhegan Island. 
I really like the shadow of <clears throat> the lobster trap and trees that you see uh, reflecting on or shine the, the shadow of them on the, on the uh, sunlit house. Isn't that cool how you're giving you information of things that are around you uh, without even showing any of it, but you're just seeing that on the house. I think it's very cool. You see a little glimpse of Manana out there and uh, one of the boats in the harbor. It's a very, very lovely piece. That is, Fish Shacks is 20 by 24 for $32. Hundred dollars. This here, oh Stephanie, this is yours. Stephanie is with us right now. This is one of Stephanie's paintings. It is called Cow Barn. Uh, she has painted this barn over and over again because it just um, not this exact shot of it, but she keeps doing different interpretations because it is um, highly loved by a lot of people. This is a nice large painting. It's thirty by forty and at a really great price of $1,600. It is unframed at that price, um, but the edges of the canvas are painted, and it's just, yes, yeah, a really lovely piece. Thank you, Stephanie. This is not the best picture of this painting, but I wanted to include it. This is a Don Stone, the late Don Stone. Uh, it's called Late Afternoon Flight. I think the light is a little intense on this. I think it's just a little bit darker in pigment because the parts on this painting that are sunlit just leap off of that. If any of you are familiar with Don Stone's work, you would know that um, he, he does really spectacular job. This is a must-see painting. It is 12 by 24 for $12,000. I just heard my doorbell ring, so this could get a little interesting. <laughs> did you hear it ringing? You did. Okay, this is called Stonington 3. This is by Corinne Bongiovanni. It's new, um, Corinne is, is, has uh, some new works here in the gallery. This is a 16 by 16 for $4.95. This is also a Stonington painting. This is Stonington 2, also by Corinne Bongiovanni, 16 by 16 for $4.95. I don't know if they left, but I <laughs> they come down to so I'll get to see them. <laughs> this is also a Stonington painting called Stonington 4 by Corinne Bon Giovanni. It's 16 by 16 as well for $4.95. She likes to use the palette knife and some of the interesting textures that she gets uh, comes from that. So she does a, a combination of brush work, palette knife work, and uh, she gets some very interesting things going on on canvas. This here is called Washed Ashore. It's a little bit bright for what it is. It's a little bit richer in color. Um, this is by Hadalambos Papadopoulos. This comes from Greece. He is a Greek artist. Um, it's very, very difficult to get paintings from him. The rocks he does, his stones are unbelievable. And they've got all sorts of colors. You actually can't really appreciate all the lovely colors in the stones from here. Um, and this is a large piece. This is 31 by 38, and it is for $2,699. Beautiful painting. This is called Spring Comes to Acadia. And this is from Sandy Harper. It's 18 by 24, and it is $1,700. Um, Sandy paints, um, very realistically looking, and she really captures she really captures of the coast. And if she's doing rocks or trees or the water, she really does a lovely job. We have a few more that uh, we got some new additions from her, and here is what we got. Oh, this is a little blown out. I didn't realize it was gonna. I, everyone's screens are set up different, so I'm not sure if you're seeing it as light as this. It's a little blown out on my screen. This is called Sunny Day at Ocean Point. Also by Sandy Harper. And it's 12 by 24 for $900. Her prices are very reasonable for the quality of her work. Look at the crashing wave on there. It's just lovely. Um, this is called Stormy Weather. She wanted to call it something. Uh, what did she tell me? Like, um, oh, I can't, I can't remember what she wanted to call it. I wish I could. Um, but anyhow, she called it Stormy Weather. 
it is again Sandy Harper. This one is 10 by 30 and it's for 950. I'll think about it when I get out of the Sandy Harper painting, so I'll think about what she can call that. Uh, this one is called Golden Tide Pool. Look at the beautiful sunset colors there. It's just gorgeous. 12 by 24 for only $850. That's a steal. This is a lovely, lovely painting. This is Afternoon Shadows by Dennis Poirier. It is 12 by 16 for $1,300. It's got a lot of nice color in there. Dennis likes to use a lot of, uh, it's very impressionist-like and with a lot of uh, spots of great color and it just gives life to a lot of his work. This painting here is called Master Chef by Dan Graziano. It's 10 by 10 for 1250. Also by Dan Graziano, we have Red Umbrella. Look at the detail in that umbrella. You really feel those folds in there. It is 10 by eight. It's a small piece for $1,100. Getting through these, these sheets here. All right, so this is a newer edition. This is called Uptown Storm. This painting is by Ken Velastro. Ken Velastro, um is has passed away he was somebody that we had opened the gallery with um in 2014 and he was battling cancer and we lost him that same year and all of his paintings are returned to his wife and uh, we're lucky enough to have gotten a ken velastro i thought i'd never get it to see another ken velastro again but this is a real treat um he uses a lot of bold color some thick paint in there he has a lot of movement going on, a lot of excitement happening in the painting. This is a large piece, 36 by 48 for $3,300. It is a really fabulous price for the quality of this work and the fact that you can't ever get any more Ken Velastro's. Um, this next painting is called Dancing Lace. And it is by myself, Susan Rue. This is 12 by 16. Oh, I see you clapping there, Barbara. <laughs> Thank you. Um, this was a scene that was taken in Kennebunkport and uh, by the marshes over there. And it is $1,800. This is a piece called Prized by Peter Yeses. The lovely piece of a bunch of peonies um, it's, it's just an exquisite piece. It's got a little flare. You can see at the top, you can see the background gets a little bit lighter. The light on it is not quite right. It's a very rich, exquisite piece, uh, very fancy looking. It's 24 by 24 for $25.50. This is called On Island Time by Olena Babak. Uh, is a, I believe it's a plein air piece. I know she paints mostly plein air. And um, it is six by 18 and it is for 1250. She gets a lot of detail uh, for a plein air painter. Now, see, I think she paints a lot of times in the plein air circuit. She does that and so does Ken DeWard and so did Peter Yes is the one, the, there's the previous painting with the, with the peonies. I don't, although I don't think the peonies painting was a plein air painting, but they do a lot of the plein air shows. I'm not sure if any of them really went on this year but uh, to get the amount of detail they're getting and the accuracy they're getting is uh, difficult when you're working and the sun is moving. So it's, uh, yeah, kudos for them for being able to capture such great things. Look at the reflections in the water, the reflections of those trees, it's just fun. You just can feel the water moving. It feels like a nice calm day. This here um, is, called Early Morning on the Grand Canal. This is by Jeffrey Courtney. He is our artist from, from England, uh, but obviously this is a Venice painting. He loves to paint Venice. He has an, an, an incredible amount of detail in here, and yet the detail disappears as you get off in the buildings, well, off in the distance. Um, it really, he really gives you a real sense of space. This is 16 by 22 inches for, um, $3,350. This painting here is new in the gallery. Uh, this is by Shelley Breton. This is called Pop. 
It's a small piece, it's 10 by 10. Uh, there's definitely some palette knife work going on in there. A lot of fun colors happening. Uh, it's a very energetic little piece, a happy painting for $325. Also by Shelley Breton is this one called Burst. Um, another very different approach to painting a, a bunch of beautiful colored flowers in a vase. This one is 12 by nine and is priced at $475. This one here is called Garden Scene. This is from Veronica. She is from the Ukraine. Most of this painting, especially all the foreground stuff, is all done with a palette knife. Uh, it's a lovely piece. The, the photograph does not do this justice. And then as you look further in there, you get to this nice little still life that is sitting beyond the irises back there. And I believe that's all done with a, a brush. The, it, it looks very oriental in the back when you're looking at the painting. You kind of don't notice it right away. And you're stuck, you're really captivated by the irises in the front and the chair with, I believe those are strawberries. And uh, then, then eventually it's as though you're seeing yourself sitting in the chair and it points you to that still life that is in the distance that is handled so completely different than the rest of the painting. And it just gives it a lovely, a lovely air of contrast. This is a large piece as well. This is 30 by 36 for $2,000. It's an unframed piece. This is called The Last Beam of Light. It's by Igor Reichlin. Um, he too passed away a year ago in, in um, June. And on the day that I was putting this all together, it was actually Igor's birthday and I had to include one of Igor's paintings. The colors in here uh, are not as accurate. It's such a warm painting. It was really difficult to photograph this correctly. This is 15 by 30 for 38.50. If you haven't noticed that piece in the gallery, next time you come in, take, take a close look because it's just an incredible painting. This is called Storm Chaser. It is by Michael Milzarek. It's 12 by 24 and it is 975. This is called Walk in the Fog by Valerie Aponic. She too loves to paint plein air. Uh, this is a very loose painting but she's captured so much and the colors and the energy that is going on in there is just really wonderful. It's 14 by 18 for $700. All right, I keep flipping pages here. We're winding down, you guys. Um, so I just want you to know that we commissioned paintings here and many of our artists are willing to paint exactly what you want. So if there's an artist you like and you, you can request to have a specific scene, size, or color scheme to suit your needs, I'm very willing to work with you along with my artist to assist you to, to uh, acquire exactly what you're looking for. So this is by Linda Spronel. Um, she commissions pet portraits. She did a very interesting composition here of her dog, Vani. Um, but if you, if you have pets and you would love to have your pet painted, uh, come, come on over and we can, we can work with you and get Linda to do a beautiful pet portrait for you. And this is, this is my niece, my late niece, um, Nikki. She, um, I, I, am, I am allowing you guys to commission portraits if you would like. Uh, she was just a, a little adorable, adorable, sweet, adorable girl. And uh, so this is an example of one of my portraits. Uh, again, the photograph doesn't quite do her justice, uh, do the painting justice. And this is another portrait I've done of Igor Reichlin. And uh, he, he is the artist that that had uh, the fall scene that I said you really should see. Uh, so anyway, these are examples of some of the portraits that I have done. And if you'd like to commission a portrait, then just talk to me about that. So that concludes our artwork. Thank you for being here. I just want to let you guys know, reminder, um, that I teach over here at the gallery. I teach remotely and in-house. So if lessons or workshops or anything you're interested in, uh, just contact me about that, okay? And I'll get this back on.
Thank you very much. That was beautiful. Well, thank you for coming. I'm just really happy you you came. And I know we had a small crowd, but or if we could even call it a crowd. See, we would have been all set. This is what we get in the gallery. You know, there's never a huge amount of people. So don't be afraid to come in. We have to let people know we are still alive and open and we want to stay alive. And so having people's support is really, really important. Okay? Will so do. Thank, Will thank do. you very much. Good thank night. You. Okay, go. okay. <laughs> what do you have? A kiss on your mask? <laughs> oh, let me check that out. Oh, mwah. oh, and then <laughs> and then uh, in, in animal prints, it Barbara. Yeah. Really it's just a, a foam stick on. I bought a sheet of eight, eight and a half by 11 of the pink foam and I've been cutting out lips because you have to wash them and then you take it off, but it sticks on itself. <laughs> so if, <laughs> I, if I come in the gallery, you'll see me with this Okay, on. I'll know it's you. You know, that's another thing. People come in and I don't recognize them. Someone will have ball caps on and sunglasses on and their mask and I have no idea what you're looking at. So you might have to introduce yourself to me when you come in, all right? All right. <laughs> all right, take care, everybody. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.